Welcome back to Houston Life. Turning now to your health, November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. So we called on our friends at Memorial Hermann and pulmonologist, rather, Dr. Karen Nyer to walk us through what we need to know about lung cancer. Dr. Nyer, welcome to the show. It's nice Thanks to see you. Me. We were just having a chat during the break. I think a lot of our viewers will find this um, fascinating, but let's just start off. Explain to us what exactly is lung cancer. So lung cancer is the second most common cancer and among men and women in the United States, worldwide also. It's uh, second after breast cancer in women and second after prostate cancer in, uh, in men. So it, you know, essentially it's cancer that's ar arising from the tissue in your lungs uh, that uh, obviously can proceed to travel to other parts of your body. Lung cancer, uh, doctor, can it affect anyone? Because we hear of people who have never smoked a day in their life, they get, they get lung cancer, but smoking certainly is an indicator. It elevates your risk factor, is that right? Right, right. So the number one cause, you know, risk factor is smoking, right? It, you know, when you look at it, uh, in patients who have lung cancer, about 80% of them have a smoking history, but that leaves the other 20%. So we've seen cancers where there's a family history and they just, as like you mentioned, they never had a smoking history. Uh, there's uh, exposure to certain type of chemicals uh, like asbestos. Secondhand smoking is a risk factor for lung cancer too. Of course. Let's talk about uh, the noticeable symptoms. Before the break, we were chatting about how a lot of people don't realize they have lung cancer until it is too late. Prevention screenings, what's the timeline, who should be getting them, and when? Sure, sure. And, and I think that's the most important thing, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get across to people. That yes, there are symptoms to lung cancer. Uh, there's things like uh, persistent chronic cough that you can't explain, or weight loss, or coughing of blood, or shortness of breath. But generally, by the time these symptoms come along, the cancers normally progress to more advanced stage. So lung cancer is one of those cancers where uh, waiting for the symptoms is not a good way to go. The recommendation is patients who are considered to be high risk, they should get an annual screening e even without symptoms. What is the screening process like at Memorial Hermann? So uh, for starters, let me, let me describe the high-risk population. So these are patients between the age of 50 and 80 who've smoked the equivalent of a pack of cigarettes a day for 20 years or more, who are either active smokers or have quit in the last 15 years. So these, these pop, this population of patients, the recommendation is they should get a low-dose CT scan of their chest annually. And uh, that's the national recommendation, and that's what's done at Memorial Hermann. Um, you know, we know that only about one in 10 patients who qualify for this actually are getting the screening these days. So we really are trying to get the word out to get more people screened because the screening has been shown to catch these cancers early and save lives. Annual screenings, mm -hmm. prevention means you are less likely um, to have, you know, to, to die from lung right. cancer. Right. Let's go back to symptoms and risk factors. And so you, you hear a lot of people say, oh, I smoked for a while in college. Is it true that the day someone stops smoking and the longer the time elapses, the, the, the better off they are? Yes, yes. So lung cancer is, you know, one of those things where smoking cessation is actually preventable, uh, a, a step that will help prevent future risk of lung cancer, right? So from the day you quit smoking, your risk of lung cancer and some of the other diseases that are associated with smoking, like heart disease, they decrease every day that you haven't smoked. So I, I tell patients all the time, no matter how long you've smoked, it really is worth quitting because it, it does help uh, reduce your risk going forward. Uh, so if someone, like let's, I've never smoked a day in my life, but if I'm experiencing strange symptoms, what would I be looking for to know something might be a little bit off? Yeah. That's, that, that is the hard thing with, with lung cancer. So, because like I said, a lot of the symptoms that I described, like uh, a persistent cough, for example, that you can't explain, or uh, more ominously weight loss that you can't explain, or shortness of breath, or chest pain when you take a deep breath, or more ominously if you cough in the blood. But a lot of the earliest symptoms, you know, if, you're, if you're a smoker or you're a certain age or you've got Houston allergies, you may just uh, ignore them. So, uh, you know, these symptoms are very nonspecific. All right, but quitting smoking and prevention, getting those screenings checked. Uh, pulmonologist Dr. Kieran Nyer with Memorial Hermann, thank you so much for stopping thank you. by. Thank you for having me. And a reminder to all of our viewers to get checked and remind your family and friends as well. You can find more information online at memorialherman.org slash lung cancer. You can also pick up the phone and give them a call at 713-222-2273.